School refusal is a behaviour that can be associated with a range of family and school factors. It is often accompanied by anxiety and distress in a child and can lead to extended school absence. Supporting children to feel good about attending school and valued as part of the school community helps to promote their mental health and well-being. School refusal is when a child experiences significant difficulty attending school and they can result in prolonged absence from school. When faced with the prospect of having to attend school, they can become quite distressed about going to school. Um, they may cry, scream um, or display tantrum-like behaviour. School refusal is more than occasional reluctance to attend school. In fact, it's quite normal for a child to miss some school during the year or have some anxiety around attending on occasion. Some of the signs or red flags for school refusal are trouble in the morning on school days. These children can be teary and plead to stay home. They can complain of stomach aches, nausea and headaches. And they can actually be quite challenging and oppositional in their behaviour all in an attempt to avoid school. For some, they can actually try and run away in the morning on school days. There can also be trouble the night before school with difficulties falling asleep and protests that they aren't going to school tomorrow. Within the school context, these children can often be away on Mondays or following a break such as holidays. They can also be late to school and might spend time in the sick bay. Another red flag is those children who avoid activities beyond the classroom. Things such as swimming days, sport carnivals and camps can often be missed. The children to keep an eye on are those who aren't engaging in the school activities. School refusal causes much distress to the child and interferes with their friendships and education. It also causes great stress for parents and school teachers. We know that the more time the child is away from school, the more difficult it is for them to return and resume normal school life. Over time, it can lead the child to feel less able to cope and it may actually start to generalise to other situations. The child may start to avoid other activities like social events or sporting clubs and may actually start to avoid leaving the house in general. Unmanaged school refusal can be a recurrent problem throughout a child's school years. Children may be at risk of mental health problems as well as early exit from school in later years. Therefore, early intervention is essential. We need to identify these children and act promptly. School refusal is usually associated with a range of underlying factors. These include school-based factors, such as anxiety about social situations or situations where there might be a performance element, such as sport days, taking tests or giving a presentation in front of the class. All of these can be overwhelming for some children. There can also be peer issues such as bullying or social isolation, and issues with learning and academic problems. And for some, there can be difficulties or conflicts with teachers. At a home level, there may be anxiety about being separated from a parent. Consider support on arrival for the student. Um, do they need a space to settle uh, before entering the, the classroom in the morning? Also, we might think about when a student has been refusing um, and they return, uh, providing a bit of low-key praise uh, uh, for them um, is useful, as well as not drawing too much attention to them in, in classroom and just letting them settle in. It's important to respond to any school-based issues that may be underlying uh, the child's non-attendance uh, issues, um, such as dealing with any social or academic needs. Creating a school environment that promotes connectedness and acceptance of diversity uh, may really act to reduce uh, some of the barriers to school attendance. Uh, this can reduce uh, stress, particularly for uh, anxious children. Connectedness and engagement uh, within schools may be fostered by 
um, providing extracurricular activities that really pique student attention, uh, such as music or arts programs, uh, lunchtime chess clubs or computer clubs, uh, as well as that establishing uh, peer support or mentoring programs to uh, increase a sense of connectedness uh, amongst uh, um, students at schools. Positive relationships uh, amongst um, parents and uh, um, school staff are really important um, for uh, clear communication about what's happening. It's very important that um, everyone's on the same page about where the student is up to. As well as that, working with uh, um, parents closely uh, can provide us further insights and understanding as to what might be sort of uh, promoting the, the school non-attendance. School refusal is more than the occasional unexplained absence. It is a serious issue that is best managed early. However, there are lots of things that school staff can do at the whole school level to strengthen attendance and to support children and their families. Supporting children to feel part of a school community and developing their social and emotional skills not only promotes school attendance, but a child's mental health and well-being.